Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Ari Yates. Some of you may be wondering why I have so drastically changed the format of this show. The simple reason is so that I may free up more time, and I wouldn't be spending all day working on the computer. It is one thing to talk and read about fishing, it is something else entirely to go out and try to catch fish. I'll be reading Deuteronomy chapter 2 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness, by the way to the Amsof. As Yahweh spoke to me, and we had circled Mount Sir many days. Yahweh spoke to me, saying, You have encircled this mountain long enough. Turn northward. Command the people, saying, You are to pass for the border of your brothers, the children of Esau, who dwell in Seir, and they will be afraid of you. Therefore, be careful. Don't contend with them, for I will not give you any of their land. No, not so much as for the sole of the foot to tread on, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau for a possession. You shall purchase food from them for money so that you may eat. You shall also buy water from them for money so that you may drink. For Yahweh your God blessed you in all the work of your hand. He has known your walking through the great wilderness. These forty years Yahweh your God has been with you. You have lacked nothing. So he passed by from my boys to Shunan of Esau, dwelling there from the way of the Arabah, from Elaf, and from Mizon, Geba, who turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. He always said to me, Don't bother Moab, neither contend with him in battle, for I will not give you any of his land for possession, because I have given all to the children of Lot for possession. The Ammon lived therein before a people great, and many and tall as the Anakim. These also are considered to be the Rephaim, as the Anakim, but the Mohabites called them Amen. The Horites also lived in Seir before, but the children of Esau succeeded them. They destroyed them from before them, and lived in their place, as Israel did the land of his possession, which Yahweh gave to them. Now rise up and cross over the book Zerat. We went over the book Zerat. The days in which we came from Kadash Barnei, until we came over the book Zerat, were thirty-eight years, until all the generation of the men of the war were consumed from the middle of the camp, as Yahweh swore to them. Moreover, Yahweh's hand was against them, to destroy them from the middle of the camp, until they were consumed. So in all the men of war were consumed, and dead from among the people, he always spoke to me, saying, You are to pass over Ar, the border of Moab today. When you come near the border of the children of Ammon, don't bother them, nor contend with them, for I will not give you any of the land of the children of Ammon for possession, because I have given it to the children of Lot for possession. That also is considered the land of Repham. Repham lived there before, but the Ammonites called them Zam, Zum, Mim, a great people, many at all, as Anakim, but Yahweh destroyed them before them, and they had succeeded them, and lived in their place, as he did for the children of Esau, he dwelt in Seir. When he destroyed the Horites from before them, and they succeeded them, and lived in their place even to this day, and they have them, who live in the villages as far as Gaza. The Kaphorim, who came out of Kaphor, destroyed them and lived in their place. Rise up, take your journey and pass over the valley of the Arnon, see. I have given into your hand Shion, the Amorite, king of Hezbron, and his land, begin to possess it, and contend with him in battle. Today, I will begin to put the dread of you, and the fear of you, and the peoples who are under the whole sky, you shall hear the report of you, and shall tremble, and be in anguish because of you. I sent messengers out of the wilderness of Kedimoth to Shion, king of Hezbron, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land. I will go along by the highway, 
I'll turn neither to the right and nor to the left. You shall sell me food for money that I may eat, and give me water for money that I may drink. Just let me pass through on my feet, as the children of Israel who dwell in Shear, and the Moabites who dwell in Ar did to me, until I pass over the Jordan into the land which Yahweh our God gives us. But Shion king of Hezbon would not let us pass by him. For Yahweh your God hardened his spirit, and made his heart obstinate, that he may deliver them into your hand as it is today. He always said to me, Watch, I have begun to deliver up Shion, and his land before you. Begin to possess, that you may inherit his land. Then Shion came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Jahaz. Yahweh our God delivered him up before us, and we struck him, his sons and all his people. We took all the cities at that time, and utterly destroyed every inhabited city, with the women and the little ones. We left no one remaining. Only the livestock we took for plunder for ourselves. With the plunder of the cities which we had taken, from Oroar, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and the city that is in the valley, even to Gilead, there was not a city to hide for us. Yahweh our God delivered up all before us, only to the land of the children of Ammon, you didn't come near. All the banks of the river Jabbok, and the cities of the hill country, and wherever Yahweh our God forbade us. Yeah.